big event coming up that we want to tell you about, and the man who can tell you all about it is here. His first time visitor to the show. Let's meet him right now. On my right, Philip Mack is outreach service provider for Mountain Valley Hospice and Palliative Care, originally a native of Portsmouth, but we're glad he's around here now. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Good to be here. Uh, and how long have you been with hospice? I forgot to ask him. We were getting ready. This coming November, it'll be one year. All right. So almost, well, we'll get you a cake with one candle on there. The, um, now let's remind our viewers uh, what hospice does and who you serve. Before we get to the big event, just give me a, a brief statement just to remind people who maybe haven't heard about it. Okay. With hospice, um, that covers different services that we have. There's our transitions program, palliative care program, or full hospice. And these are pretty much for, for folks who have a terminal illness, normally six months or less. Right. And, uh, and you guys do a great job and support the families, and, and I just appreciate what you do. But now, there's a particular uh, group of folks that we talk about from time to time when Sheila's on the show, and those are veterans that we honor. And you actually have a program called We Honor Veterans. What is that all about? Well, the We Honor Veterans program is actually a national program. It was a collaboration between the Department of Veteran Affairs and the National Hospice and Palliative Care Organization. They recognize that veterans towards the end of life have special needs, a lot of times based on their military experience, levels of exposure to different things. And knowing that only about 4% of veterans actually pass away in VA facilities, they realized that local hospices um, really could be helped by educating them on these certain sure, things. Sure, absolutely. And so they developed this program and it's again designed for for us so that our staff can be educated for those unique needs that veterans have. And you have, you know, uh, veteran volunteers sometimes and people on staff who can relate to veterans and I think that's a good, a good angle too. And uh, now you do sort of day-to-day -day activities. You're always doing something or another for, for veterans, right? We do. It's a full-blown program for our veteran patients. That's our, that's our priority. Right. Um, we do different things to honor them. Um, when we get a veteran patient, we will pin them. Um, which is a, uh, it's an honored veteran pin. Uh, we give them a red, white, and blue prayer shawl. And uh, if they haven't been connected with the VA and if there are some benefit needs, a lot of times we'll meet with them and go over the paperwork and kind of help them along that process, that paperwork. Sure. Now, speaking of events and activities, there's something coming up on November 2nd. Tell me about it. We are having a veterans ball. And we're going to be having it at the barn at Heritage Farm, which is in Dobson. Okay. It's our way to reach out to all veterans and to say thank you for your service and your sacrifice for our country. Well, what's going to be going on? It's, uh, no, I know we said November 2nd, and we'll put this up on screen in just a second, but I think it's 2 to 5 p.m. on that day. What, what happens? What's going to happen that day? Well, from 2 to 5, we're going to have live entertainment. We're going to have some refreshments there. And we're going to have some certain uh, military things being done. We'll have a color guard. and. And about halfway through the, the, the ball, we're going to honor these veterans. Sure. And just, again, thank them for their service. And veterans and, and also open to families of veterans, right? Who can come. We, are, we are inviting veterans and for them to bring a guest. Sure. We're just asking, if they would, to RSVP. Sure. So, so you'll know, know how much food. And yeah, know how much food to get. I think that's just great. So let me put that up on screen again just to remind people. We honor Veterans Ball Thursday, November 2nd from 2 to 5 p.m. at the barn at Heritage Farm in Dobson and you can go to this website and find out uh, more information and uh, on that and that's www.mtnvalleyhospice.org of course the MTM stands for mountain and for our radio audience let me say it again www.mtnvalleyhospice.org please check that out and support the veterans and uh, as you do day in and day out and I salute what you do I appreciate it Phil thank you thank you very much for being here